The suspected Ibadan serial killer, Sunday Shodipe, has been rearrested by operatives of the Oyo State Police Command. The State Police Public Relations Officer, Lugbenga Fade, confirmed the uh, development. The 19-year-old Shodipe is uh, suspected to have killed about six women at Akinyele local government area of the state and escaped from the Mokola police station on Tuesday, August 11th. This prompted a wave of protests against the police, but the State Commissioner of Police, Joe Wanchuku Ewanwo, had assured that everything had been put in place to ensure the rearrest of the suspect. Just last Thursday, 500,000 Naira bounty was placed on Shudipe's arrest by the police. And we'll be speaking quickly with uh, Dennis Amakri, a former assistant director at DSS, uh, to, of course, um, open up this uh, conversation on this development. Thank you for joining us. Good evening. I would first of all say kudos to the police for rearresting um, Shudipe, but uh, many are still baffled how the escape happened and what less lessons you know they are to learn from this? I don't think this is the time to tell the police kudos because uh, that was, uh, you know, a pure uh, inefficiency that has been, uh, the, uh, you know, demonstrated by the kid uh, by the uh, escape of that guy. Because um, see, one thing is that we don't follow the procedures. The police don't follow the procedures. And this is uh, this this particular incident underlines that the inefficiency, professional inefficiency of how they manage things. How can uh, uh, somebody who has been arrested, uh, they don't even have his fingerprints, they don't even have his mugshot, because when you are arrested, the first thing to do is to take a mugshot of the guy, and then of course take you know. Uh, uh, his fingerprints and then secure him properly because he's a killer. He's going to be charged with murder. And if you're going to charge him with that, you make sure that he does not just escape. How does he, how did it, how did it happen that he walked right in front of them out of, uh, out of the police station? So there are no kudos here. I think this All is right. the time for them to sit back and then redo or review their processes. Another worry is that it took the community to raise uh, alarm on the escape. There's people who are of the opinion that the police ought to have alerted the public first. Yeah, exactly. Because, uh, like I said, it underlies the lackadaisical like, attitude. You know, if it is not the public really demanding for this and then the Inspector General coming to know about it, uh, they might have even swept it uh, on the ground. I think they should carry out a very serious uh, investigation there to find out who are those policemen that aided him. Because there's no way he could have just walked out of that place. Uh, so there are policemen in there that aided him to get out. Would it be too far-fetched to assume that the teenager has maybe some powerful individuals he carries out these acts for? Well, uh, besides uh, the police angle to it, uh, we, we have to look at uh, those, uh, the, the herbalist that he was saying that uh, sent him to do this. I hope that guy is uh, arrested by now. And I hope that uh, his picture is right now with the police and everything. Because maybe they will just arrest people and just lock them up. After a while, they, they maybe allow them to go. And then you cannot trace them. Nobody who has come to the notice of police has been, you know, uh, cataloged, so to say. So, well, in, after investigation and interrogation of that uh, suspect, we might, you know, learn some more more people that have been behind this uh, incident. And if we're going to be speaking about avoiding a repeat, um, I'm sure that you must also be thinking about police reforms one way or the other. Would you say that funding may be the police's biggest um, um, issue? Lack of funding uh, in order to, you know, put things in place to avoid a repeat of such. Yes. Uh, funding for security has been very, very low in Nigeria. Uh, like, we, when you look at it, even the, uh, an international uh, index has uh, shown that Nigeria spends about $2 billion, $2 billion last year on security. Uh, that's defense and security. While smaller countries... Even Angola, Angola, which is a smaller country that does not even produce up to the oil we produce, spent seven billion dollars. You know, so funding is a big problem for the police. But right. right now, the major issue right now is training, training, 
And then, of course, besides training, the capability is to do these little things. You don't need money to do this. You don't need money to take a box shot of somebody. A simple telephone camera can, could have, could have uh, taken a picture of that person. Uh, what would you, what would you recommend that the state should do to avoid a repeat? Well, the state government has always been there to help. Um, and they, they always assist the police. I expect them to continue assisting the police. Uh, some people have been calling for Aboteku in that place to rejuvenate, but I don't see any Abotekus, you know, uh, 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 solving this particular problem. These are internal problems of the police that should be solved. Uh, Aboteku can come out and, of course, look out for havalis that are planning these kind of things, either uh, providing uh, uh, bulletproof charms or uh, all kinds of uh, hypnotic charms to people. But um, we believe that... Uh, the state itself has a lot to do. Um, assist the police to, to bring up their capability. Dennis Amakri, thank you so much for speaking with us. Thank you for having me.